This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel. Now, one thing I promised everyone that I would do is um, when I started bringing in some of the um, books that I have in my collection, I was going to start showing you some of my book collection, specifically some of the math books that I have in my collection. And uh, one thing I've started to do is basically start bringing in some of the boxes of books that I have uh, in storage. And I've brought over um, about four or five boxes right now. Um, I found two boxes that are specifically, you know, I just wrote down math on it, so I know it's math books. I got uh, a box here of math magazines, and I'm pretty sure I know what's in that one. I'm not sure what's in the two boxes because uh, I'm storing away, I didn't really categorize them according to which books they were. I just said math, okay? And I have uh, another box here that's uh, sort of engineering related uh, books and stuff like this. I don't think we'll take a look at that, uh, but what I want to do is I'm going to. We'll see if we can get three, uh, through all three boxes, okay? Um, and that way I can start, you know, organizing the books. Because one thing I've done is I've built up uh, one shelf system here and another shelf system here. So I'm about to do a shift um, just to, you know, open up some boxes and see what I have and put the books up, right? And we're going to slowly, as I bring in more boxes of books, I'm going to build up shelving in different locations of the house. And, uh, start putting some of the books up, right? Because they need to be up, right? Uh, so let me show you what I have here. Uh, and most of these are going to be specifically uh, math and physics related, okay? Now, I already had um, some books that just came with me when I did the move here. So let me show you those ones. Um, there's some just general, I guess, general physics books and stuff here. Uh, but I'll show you what I've what I usually have to leave myself access to if I'm doing a move somewhere because um, I want that information, right? If it's in a box, you can't access it, right? So these are the books that sort of come with me because I do use them as reference, uh, some more than others, most definitely, okay? So the first book uh, that I'm gonna show you, you've already seen this book. We did, uh, uh, when we put out a video on, um, uh, what you will call it, how to read a textbook. We took a look at uh, Feynman's physics lectures, and this is a volume two. Okay, so this has been with me, uh, or in the family anyway, uh, since the 19, 1980s or so. And uh, the books that I'm about to show you, by the way, I should mention this. The books I'm about to show you, um, some of them are mine that I've used through university school or whatever, just bought to for references. Um, some of these, I've inherited and some of them are hand-me-downs the, the the books that I have that are uh, lower level in mathematics and physics those are mine okay um, because I went to university I only got my bachelor's in mathematics and uh, major in geophysics right there's some books here that are pretty high high level mathematics um, that are PhD level and stuff like this. So some of these books um, I have there, you know, they found their way to me. And at some point I plan on uh, learning enough mathematics to read a couple of the books that I wanna, I wanna understand the math that I wanna understand. So the higher level mathematics, uh, math books that I'm about to show you, the mathematics is uh, too powerful for me right now. At some point I will, uh, hopefully reach that level as well and um, there's a bunch of other stuff that I'm going to show you which are uh, engineering stuff related and um, those are sort of hand-me-downs through the family that's found their way to me okay so the first book Feynman lectures on physics volume 2 okay great book really I've, someday I'm, I plan on getting all I think there's three volumes I plan on tracking these down okay and I think this is the fourth printing from 19 uh, 19 19 uh, 1966 I think it first came out in 60 now uh, first came out in 1964 and this is the fourth printing from 1966 okay well, I won't it's gonna be too tight showing it to let's check it out see if you can see and then this is uh, oops this is Richard Feynman playing his bongos or congos or whatever it's called, right? So this is one book that, you know, stays with me always. Uh, let me show you this one. Now this one 
is uh, Calculus by Howard Anton, third edition. This is the math book I've referenced the most. And um, a few years ago, I think 2007, 2008, people were asking me, you know, if I had any book recommendations. And I picked some physics and math books. And actually, I recommended five books. There was a comic book in there as well, Bone. But this was the one that I showed. Uh, I've referenced this book more than any other math book. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay. Uh, another book that uh, I remember here, let me show you this one as well. Uh, this is the Linear Algebra book by uh, Gilbert Strand. So Linear Algebra and its Applications. And we took a look at this uh, when we took a look at uh, how to read a textbook as well, right? So this was the second book and there was a third book in there with uh, Chris Hedges' book, uh, Days of Destruction, Days of Revolt. So this is a good linear book. Um, but I think I mentioned that uh, during that video that there was a linear book that I used to learn linear algebra. Uh, and I ended up finding it, and it's Algebra and Vector Geometry by Staten and Fryer. Okay. This is the book. This is their names up here. Uh, this is the book that I learned linear algebra from. And I, I learned linear algebra before actually taking linear algebra courses, and this is the book that taught it to me. Okay. I had to know it as a prerequisite for a different course that I took, but I never had it, uh, which was a big no-no. Um, if you're going to university um, or college for mathematics, uh, prerequisites are a must. So if you're looking at taking math courses, if they have a prerequisite for a course, for sure, make sure you know that it's a technique that you need uh, that's in the language that you need to be able to do what the next level is, right? For me, I didn't have it. I sort of had to learn linear algebra on my own. This is the book I used. And it's a fantastic book, really. I, it was easy to read, easy to understand, and uh, uh, it was very good. Okay, it was very good. Algebra and vector, vector geometry. Okay. With determinants and matrices. Rational real number systems. Another calculus book that I've um, referenced, that I use as well, is uh, uh, Calculus, a first course, uh, Earl W. Swakowski. Swakowski, okay. And I've used this one as well. This one sort of sometimes travels with me if the other one's not around, and I do use this as a reference. Um, couple of probability books that I've used a lot, but I don't think they're the best, really. I use these because I had to when I took a course, and these are the books that I learned from. Um, and it wasn't the best, but I love the explanations in this. I remember getting more into the reasons why, um, the examples, the details in the back, um, when they were dealing with the problem, then the mathematics of it. Okay, so. Uh, J.G. Colt Fletcher, I have no idea how you pronounce that, uh, Probability and Statistical Inference, Volume 1, this is Probability, second edition, I guess. Okay. And this is, same thing, Volume 2, Statistical Inference. Okay. Um, hopefully I get that right. As far as uh, physics books, books go, uh, this is the one I've referenced the most. I've used the most, and I like this book. Okay. Uh, this is uh, Survey, yeah, Survey, and Physics for Scientists and, Engin and Engineers with Modern Physics Second Edition. Okay. Uh, it was a good book. I've learned a lot of physics from that book. 
this is one of the books that uh, sort of found its way to me. Uh, Statistics and Mechanics of Materials, uh, R.C. Hebler. R.C. Hebler. I don't know what edition this is. And I mentioned before I um, did a little bit of, uh, well, not a little bit, I did a fair bit of construction in my life, uh, just been around it. Uh, graphic guide to frame construction good book for reference okay gives you a pretty good idea of uh, how things are put together and this is I guess engineering but it's all mathematics right it's all mathematics and it's uh, details for builders and designers Rob Thalon and it's got good images and drawings and references with a math, good math book or a more good uh, physics book you always want to have uh, something that has amazing uh, graphics. Okay, you want to have amazing graphics. Let me show you two books that uh, come with me everywhere. Okay, these ones. Uh, uh, these are two of the books that I plan on kicking my mathematics to a level that I can read these two books, okay? And there's a couple of other ones as well, but uh, read Solomon Codes and their applications. Okay. I wanna know about Solomon Code Theory, right? Uh, so this book came out, and this is not a huge print run. These things are very, very low print run. Solomon Crow's applications. Uh, this one came out, it would have been 93, 94 or something. Uh, I can't find the date on this. Anyway, it's 90, early 1990s for sure. Okay, and it's got different chapters written about different things. And the other one uh, uh, is application of finite fields. Uh, by Alfred J. Mendez. Alfred J. Mendez is the editor, and there's a whole bunch of different publishers on there. And I haven't even cracked this one open. <laughs> it's brand new. Uh, and this is again uh, from the early 1990s. And uh, uh, and one day I'll crack it open and read it and understand it. Try to anyway, right? I just have to learn the mathematics behind this. Right. So those are the books that are sort of come with me no matter where I go okay. um, let's crap open one of these boxes and all I do uh, now these boxes if you're doing uh, moving books and stuff like this uh, if you go to uh, liquor stores they have boxes uh, that are pretty good for books but they're not specifically set for books right so a lot of these boxes for that my last move that these things went to storage I went to a bookstore, a large bookstore chain, and I grabbed their boxes and they were perfect, okay? Now, just a heads up, um, because these things were going to storage and I wanted to protect it, I took uh, Dimatius Earth and I put it around the boxes. I put the stuff in plastic bags and put a Dimatius Earth around it to protect the books from bugs and stuff like this, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna go really slow opening these up because uh, Dimatious earth you don't want to breathe in you want to make sure it's settled down right so i'm going to be very careful bringing these things out okay so let's crack this open oh yeah let me show you the box this is the box okay and they're pretty pretty heavy so you can go a little bit lighter uh smaller
Uh, one thing I did uh, when uh, storing these boxes, take a look. I took a sack like this, like a like just old shirt torn up, and I put rice in it. I believe this is rice. I put rice in this, so it would absorb the moisture. Okay, let me open this up. And uh, rice and baking powder, or baking soda, I can't, I can't remember, take a look. So it's got rice, and I think this is uh, baking soda to absorb moisture and stuff like this. So um, I read this up online when I was uh, packing these things. Um, I believe so anyway. So I'm going to put these guys, since I opened it up, actually, let's just leave it in the box in the corner there. Now, let me show you uh, some of these books. This is some of the other books I have. It's got mainly math books, I believe, but uh, I do have uh, some physical fitness books and stuff like this. And this is The Barrel, Bruce Rundle, Mr. Universe, The Barrel Way to Physical Fitness. Okay. by Stan a Museum and this is 1970 okay first edition it's really good condition actually so let's put this guy here what else we got oh yeah this is another book I used a lot so this is uh, Fundamentals of Differential Equations second edition R. Kent Nagel Edward B. Uh, Saf you can tell <laughs> certain books you get attached to when you're um, when you're studying when you're learning something new right so <laughs> I won't show you these ones right now uh, no, what the? This is. No. I'm just gonna stick with the math books, okay? This one I'm gonna show you though. Check this out. <laughs> Schwarzenegger, right? So physical fitness books that have uh, made their way to me. Okay. Okay, I'll show you these guys since I pulled this one out as well. McKenna's The Sacred Mushroom Seeker, right? I flipped through this, I haven't read it all. And Tales of the Shaman's Apprentice. Right. Non math book, I guess. Yeah, on the box actually, I've written here 
math plus, right? So, let me show you this one. This is a gem. This one is a gem. Bill Pearls, which is, what was that? No, this is Bruce Randall. Bill Pearls, Keys to the Inner Universe, World's Best Built Man. Check this out. Huge. <laughs> Bill Pearls, Key to the Inner Universe. So, so this is volume one. Okay. Classic, classic. Look at this thing. Like Scott's exercises, drawings, right? It's not just the mind, you have to keep sharp, right? You have to keep the body body sharp as well, right? So this is great book, great book. Here's another uh, book by Terence McKenna Food of the Gods most definitely most definitely so let's take a look at these so here's some of the math books so the top layer was sort of paperbacks to a certain degree. Not a couple of hardcovers. Uh, International Series in Pure and Applied Mathematics. Principles, principles of Mathematical Analysis. Okay. This book is uh, third edition. Rundle, MC Crawhill. Okay. Hopefully you can see that. Walter Rudin, Principles of Principles of Mathematics. Check it out. Cool. International series in pure and applied mathematics. <laughs> nice. Just love it. Above me. I have to become more powerful in mathematics to be able to do this one. Library, The Theory of Error Correcting Codes by F.M. McWilliams and N.J.A. Sloan. Got some notes in there. This is, uh, let's check this out. Hmm. Cover up the name. But there you go. This is above me, but I like to uh, learn some of the stuff with coding and stuff like this. Einstein and the ether. Nice read. Nice read. Okay. Uh, by Ludwig Kostro. Skim, skim through some. Cool. 
Simulation of Communication Systems. Michael J. Druchin, Philip Balab Balaban, and K. Sam. I don't know those names. Okay. Cool. Thick book. Thick, thick book. <laughs> haven't read it but had to get it to put it in the collection someday just flip through it certain things must be read right just to, so you can't you don't just rely on interpretations Jacobson, Basic Algebra 1. It's hardcover. Nice book. I love these kinds of books. And these books. Uh, Nathan Jacobson, Yale University. and groups introduction concepts from set theory the integers rings chapter 2 chapter 3 modules over principal ideal domains chapter 4 Galois theory of equations chapter 5 Real polynomial equations and inequalities. Chapter six, matrix vector spaces and the classical groups. Chapter seven, algebras over field, over a field. Chapter eight, lattices and Boolean algebra. Nice book, nice book. Chu Lin, Daniel J. Costello Jr., Error Control Coding, Fundamentals and Applications. Nice. Coding for Reliable Digital Transmission Storage Introduction to Algebra. And keep in mind, some of the stuff, uh, it was huge at the be late 19 or 1980s, early 1990s, mid 1990s and stuff. Uh, secure communication, error coding. And, um, I knew some people that were doing some research in that. And, um, so it was interesting. Uh, seeing them uh, their perspective on things um, how the concern for people was in large part secure communication online uh, coding uh, 
more rapid transfer of information, right? Because we're limited. We weren't streaming just became available in the early 2000s, right? Uh, it's cool stuff. 68,000 assembly language programming by Jerry Kane, Doug Hawkins, and Lance Levent Leventhal. What a book, eh? It's uh, 68,000 assembly language programming. Jerry King, yeah, cool. I don't know this book, but I love it. Look at this. of electron diffraction patterns KW Andrews DJ Dyson SR Kiwin Kiwin This is actually from a library it was a sale on. <laughs> yeah, it must have been a sale on. Buy the book, buy the book, buy the math books. A library sale. And what do we got here? Data communication fundamentals of baseline transmissions. Edited by L. E. Franks. Okay. Benchmark papers. What have we got in this? 1974 copyrights. Is that the printing on it? Not sure. Cool. So that's one box. Let me make sure there's nothing staggered in here. Okay, we close this. one says uh, math books only so it might just be math books it doesn't say math book plus right so I guess my coding was math book plus meant uh, math book plus other things
math flicks, right? So let's take a look at this. Uh, digital control system analysis and design. And this is uh, by Charles L. Phillips, H. Troy Nagel Jr. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Let's put these guys I'm getting full of bucks. Foundations of electronic magnetic theory. Ritz Milford, second edition. I'll show you this on it. It doesn't have anything on the cover. Arithmetic of Finite Fields, Charles Small. Pure and Applied Mathematics. So much in this. Take years before you can learn the mathematics to do this maybe. Digital Picture Processing, L.P. Yaroslavovsky. Cool. Oh, these books are awesome. Computer Security and Protection Structures, Bruce J. Walker, Ian F. Blake. City of Waterloo. Introduction to the Theory of Error Correcting Codes, Vera Pless. A lot of electrical engineering books here. Integral, measure and derivative in unified, a unified approach. G. E. Shalov, B. L. Gurevich, Richard A. Silverman, translated from the Russian by Richard A. Silverman. Russian mathematicians. Wow. Student Solution Manual. Luz A. Golul. Gulu. Calculus with Applications. Elementary Mathematical Analysis, Colin Clark. Beautiful. I like 
have to make a poster of this. Limits. Book one, Modern Algebra, Structure and Method. Glossian Wutan. Module two. Principle and Practice of Information Theory. Richard E. Blah, 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 Blah. Beautiful. Mathematics to Max A. Sobol, Sobol, Evan M. Maleksky. Introduction to finite fields and their applications. Rudolf Little and Harold Newber Wright. Algebraic foundations. Structure of finite fields, chapter three, polynomials over finite fields, chapter four, factorization of polynomials, chapter five, exponential sums, chapter six, linear recurring sequences, chapter seven, theoretical applications of finite fields, chapter eight, algebraic coding theory, chapter nine, cryptology, Chapter 10 tables. Cool stuff. Theory and practice of error coding, error of error control codes. Richard E. Blahant. We already saw one book from this guy. At least one book and it's brilliant there are people mathematicians that specialize in their fields right so if you're into going into a field you're reading a lot of books from a specific individual cool ah, look at these ones so we got some graduate texts guys graduate texts in mathematics frank w warner foundations of differential manifolds and lie groups graduate text in mathematics thomas w uh, Hungerfold Algebra. Serge Lang Complex Analysis, second edition. J. H. Van Lent, Introduction to Coding Theory. J.P. Sur Surrey, linear representations and finite groups of finite groups.
here's the another bag of right, bag of rice and baking soda I believe inside keep the moisture out let's close this more graduate test text in mathematics vs varadajian vs varadajian lie groups lie algebras and their representations oh the name here is ireland I believe it's Ken, Kenneth Ireland and Michael Rosen, a classical introduction to modern number theory. A. N. Shrev, probability. I'd like to actually read this one. It's hard finding good probability books, really. I haven't read this one yet. Let me take a look at it. Not sure where it starts with basics or not. <laughs> Paul R. Holmos, Measure Theory. Yeah, this probability book won't be starting with the the normal <laughs> the three original stuff. This is. Uh, graduate text, right? So it's going to be higher level, most likely. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. What's the first chapter? Elementary probability theory, mathematical foundations of probability, some classical models of distribution, probabilistic model of an experiment with a finite number of outcomes. Oh, that's not bad. The boys here. Yes. Might be a good starting point. Conversion of probability measures, sequence and sum and dependent random variables. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds good. Um, and I have one box here that's magazine. So let me organize it, bring it over, okay?
is uh, there's math books and magazines in here, okay, um, or subscription uh, and journals, okay. So mathematical foundations of information information theory, AI, Kalenchin. Cool. We got B. Davis, Integral Transformations, Transformations and Their Applications, Second Edition. Cool. A. O. Hoff, Hoffcroft. Alman, the design analysis of comp computer algorithms. Cool. Models of computation algorithms and, and their complexity, design of efficient algorithms, sorting and order statistics. Data structures for set manipulation problems. Algorithms of graphs. Do I have any more books here? So this is, uh, there might be a couple more books at the bottom, but these are the magazine or the journals collection that I have. And these guys I love. This is like having a, a comic book series, right? Mathematical Monthly, American Mathematical Monthly. This is August, September, 1987. Okay. And it goes on. This is not October, 1986. And these are articles, journals that uh, came into publication. Scientific, scientific uh, papers, I guess. 87 volume 93 number 5 May 1986 okay. there's a bunch here so how many of these do I got I'm not sure what the numbering sequence is uh, what I have and what not so I got volume 93 these are volume 94 there's a whole bunch here and Here's another set. This is volume 93. Here's another set. These will look amazing up on top of those shelves. Right? And then whenever you want, you sort of bring them down. And see what you can find. Here's three more. this out here's the 93 so 93 and 94 were red and here's uh, again the American update but the 95 started turning green right I'm not sure what the later years turned out to be now these guys these guys first uh, yeah. that guy belongs to that I triple E transactions on communication okay I got a set of these guys and this is uh, June 1988 volume 36 number 4 And then there's number nine, number something, volume 37, this is 98, 99, right? So there's a set of these guys here. Let's put these guys here. And I got a whole bunch of IEEE transactions on information theory from July, right? So those are, this is, uh, on communication 
right? And this one is information theory. Okay. So on uh, communication, I have a bun. You know, there was, I don't know, there's probably like eight or nine there. These ones, I got a whole bunch. So start off, I believe 91, we're starting off. Pull these guys out. Here are these. Now this is 88. So 88 to 93 so far, right? And I got a bunch more here. Oh, here's the other sack of horizon. Baking soda, I believe, in the, right? Sun's totally come out, eh? Nice. Nice. Maybe this isn't too dark. This is 92, information theory. 92. These guys here. And 88, 90. So it spans basically from 1988 to 1993, which makes sense. Okay. Some of these things, the publications, the papers in them were just to read here. Vol November 1989, uh, volume 35, number six. Uh, a fast algorithm for computing distance spectrum of convolution codes achievability proof of some multi-user channel coding theorems using backward decoding and stuff like this like goes deep goes deep uh so those are three boxes um i hope i hope you liked uh <laughs> some books here that I love. Um, what we'll do is, uh, if I get the chance to um, show you guys more videos of other boxes coming in, I will make them. Um, I know there's a whole bunch of books that uh, I know I have that weren't in here um, that I definitely want up on the walls. I'm definitely going to go through those boxes, okay? Um, that's it for now. Uh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next video.